There's been much interest and excitement in the South African music industry with the reforming of 80s hit band Falling Mirror. Their song Johnny Calls the Chemist was a chart topper in 1986 and the band did some pretty cool things and then they kind of disappeared and we didn't hear from them again until recently when they reformed 20 years later. It hasn't been all glitz and glamour for the band either, the lead singer having lived on the street and was homeless for almost six months and now they're back on the stage. I caught up with Falling Mirror to find out how things are going. So Falling Mirror is back in the limelight again. Uh, first big song came out in 1986 and it's been a while and here you guys are again. The band's doing work together. What does it feel like? Well, I think it's absolutely incredible. I mean, it, I, I think I, I'm, I was born for showbiz. I really love showbiz. My mother was very into it and she, I think, passed a lot of that on to me and I love showbiz. So I'm very pleased to be back in the business. And, and the whole rock and roll thing where it can get very busy and take up a lot of one's life and your personal life. What's it been like for you the past 20 years or so? Well, I wasn't that active in rock and roll music. I mean, it was mainly, I just played in my room, had a sequencer. I used to just, I, I wasn't, we used to write songs and I wasn't sure what was going to happen next, but I had this funny sense that something was going to happen and I had to be there for it in a long time. It's just that when we did that thing, we didn't actually, you see, we recorded, we did a studio record. We didn't need, we just needed the two of us and Tully the producer, we created a whole rock album. So it was always very difficult to go and represent ourselves. We had no money, we had no equipment, we had no management. So we, we always did these records, but nothing sort of came of it. So you've been playing together, you've been rehearsing together. What's it like having the guys together and, and playing music again? Oh, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I just love audience response. I love to, I love to go out there and, and, and challenge myself to see if I can win them over. And I like them to be resistant because I know that to, to, to break through an audience's resistance, you've got to be persistent. But sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you just break them easily, but it's wonderful to see that response come back. When we first did it and nothing really happened, you know, you, you become very um, critical of what you've done and you tend to not be able to like it or believe it anymore. But something like this could change it all. It hasn't been all glitz and glamour and I know over the past that you'd also fallen on hard times and, and spent some time living on the street too. What's that been like for you as a musician? That was pretty tough. But I think the upside of that was, uh, Ian, that I absolutely love getting my inspiration from street life, images. You know, I'll think of a whole book in my head and I'll see some lady walking out of a shop and she'll suddenly become a character. It's almost like a James Patterson novel suddenly comes into my mind, you know what I mean? And I'll either put it into lyric form or I'll write it or I'll try and write it in some other form, you know what I mean? So I actually like street life, but I, I, I will still nevertheless tell you that living on the street is not very pleasant. If I was 20 years old and wanting to break into the music scene, what advice would you have for me? I guess if a person's got it in their heart, they will find it and they'll do it. But it's a tricky question for me because I, I'm a reluctant guitar player. Do you know, you know, I love it and I haven't yet felt what I want to feel from it yet. If you really feel you have something and you believe you can do it, do it. You know, last week I sat in studio with the guys producing the new Falling Mirror work. The vocals sound amazing. They've got a very bluesy, punk rock kind of feel to it. So if you get a chance to see them as part of this reunion tour they're doing in South Africa, don't miss out. I promise you, it's going to be awesome. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.